I really missed you. Yeah. Craziest thing has just happened. The woman kicked Carter. All I'll say is, Carter is going to be getting his own car. But let's crack on with a fun-filled day. Good morning. Good morning. Come here. Come. Hello. Hello, I'm glad to have you back. Yes, 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 yes. Give me a kiss. No, proper kiss. Proper kiss. Mwah. That's nice. There you go, you greedy git. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to another vlog. I decided when I was skiing, I know I said in one of my last vlogs that I was going to vlog skiing, but whereas like, I'm not a pro skier and I just know that if I'm like thinking I'm really good holding a camera and vlogging, I just know I was going to break a bone and the weather was not great and I just really wanted to live in the moment. So I decided not to ski, uh, vlog skiing. So if you were excited for that, I apologise. There is some pictures over on my Instagram if you want to go and check out what we got up to. But... My body survived, I've got no broken bones, thank God, I woke up every morning and I was like, please survive, please come back with no broken bones, and I did. So, Carter, hello, you missed me, didn't you? You stayed with my mum and dad for a week, so I went to pick him up um, on the Sunday after I got back. I got back Saturday, drove and got him on Sunday, and now we are back to normal life, aren't we? And I've decided, I kind of had an epiphany when I was away, I thought, where do I want to go on my vlogs? I always never know what you guys are interested in. But I'm just going to vlog everything and anything. I'm just going to vlog it and see what you like. And oh, I've got all your slobber around my mouth. And if you guys can let me know what sort of things you like. Do you like the fashion, the grooming? Obviously, I know you all like the dog, so he'll be very much included in whatever I can. But I'm going to call them, spend the week with us. And then that can include very many different things. But this morning, I'm going to get a coffee. I've got to catch up with my mum. I know I went and seen her at the weekend, but I, she does actually work for me. I don't know if I've ever told you that, but I employed my mum basically out of being forced to do it because she didn't want to take her pension yet. So I was like, if I give her a bit of pocket money and she doesn't have to take a pension, she does all my bits and bobs that I don't like doing, like sorting out my bills, taking the dog when I need him, uh, need her to. So I'm going to have a bit of a business catch up with her this morning. But yeah, I need to start my morning now with a coffee because my mind and my brain is still up on the top of the mountains. So oh, I missed you too. I really missed you. So I am now going to plan out my outfits for my shoot. God, look at my hair. I'm trying to grow my hair, but I'm currently at that stage where it looks like a bush on my head. I've got to get past it because I know that whenever I said I'm going to grow my hair, I always get to a stage where I'm like, I hate it and then I cut it and then I want to grow it again. And I literally keep going back to square one. Currently it does look a bit bushy, but when I do it, it'll look all right. And I've got to get past this stage. But my outfits, I just wanted to kind of give you a breakdown of how I pick out my outfits for my shoots. So I find it quite stressful because I kind of like looking in a wardrobe and being like, what should I pull together? I am a perfectionist with outfits, so I always think there's better. So I pull something, I put it on, it looks good, but I always think there's a better look. Where I have like several different clothing items in different colours, I keep going and keep going when fundamentally the first outfit was good enough. So what I found works better for me and takes away a lot of the stress is I love brands like Reese, Zara, Cos. They kind of pull outfits together really well. So on Thursday I'm shooting just some different outfits. So I want to do an outfit with jeans. So I'll go onto the website and I'll go onto their jeans section and look at how they've pulled outfits together with a pair of jeans. Because then I can go into my wardrobe and know that I'm looking for a specific colour of jean. I'm looking, say, in this one for a white t-shirt, a specific jacket. It's just so much easier to kind of pull the items rather than 
not really knowing like a base of the outfit you want to work with. I'll always put my own stamp on something, but it's good to kind of have like a base in your mind of what you want to work with. And that way it just makes it so much quicker and easier or else it used to take me a whole day to pick out a few outfits. breathe I I'm done that was actually god I look like a bald potato lying down like that that's set up that was actually stress-free today it took me about two hours which is actually I think my record that was my best but two hours but I do have another little tip for you let me just show you first of all what I have done so once I've sorted out my outfits excuse the mess I need to do a clear out jumpers are just bursting out I can't fit any more in, look, it's just so full, but t-shirts I have less of. So what I use is, I use this half of the wardrobe for when I've sorted outfits. I just pop them all in there so they're all ready. And then when I have my shoe, I can just pull them out, ready to go. But now I'm done. The sun is actually shining, which is amazing. I'm now going to take Carter out for a walk to decompress. Head in. No. Oi. Right, let's do it up. Yes, walkie's time. Keep us from partying, leaving this romance behind. But now you're gone and all I have is, all I have is time. And though you're not here anymore, I still think about you. Look at your snuggle shots. I still love you. Look at your snobbery chops. Oh, guys. So nice to get out in the fresh air and just, yeah, just take it all in and play with little man. Cause baby, I, I, yeah, I didn't forget you. lady was not a nice lady was she no guys oh I don't really know how to say this it's crazy I'm not really one like one to come on and rant and to talk negatively but the craziest thing has just happened mm. so we went on a walk and I, t I decided to take him off the lead today just for a little bit where there was no one around not that he's bad off the lead, he's just <laughs> stubborn, aren't you? Doesn't really listen when I say come back, he normally runs off. But he would never do anything to another dog, another human being. But I took him off the lead and I'm, I think I caught a bit of footage on my phone of me chasing him around. And then anyway, he ran through the, ro uh, the woods and um, he ran up to a woman with her child, just like to be friendly. Didn't you? You were just being nice. And they weren't very nice. The woman kicked Carter, physically kicked him away and said, get your dog away from me. I like ran over and I was like, what are you doing? A bit are taken aback by the fact that she's just kicked the dog. Like full on kicked the dog. You okay? And I said, why are you kicking my dog? And she said, I've read about your dog before, your type of dog. They're nasty dogs. And I was like, what, a chow chow? And she was like, yes, they're aggressive to kids. I don't feel safe with your dog off of a lead. I was like, well, I am sorry, the dog's normally on a lead, but he didn't do anything. He was just running over to, to see you. And she was like, yeah, well, I've read about chow chows. They're a nasty piece of work. And I'm like, I mean, come on, I know you can't judge a book by its cover, but Carter looks like a teddy bear. I mean, look at him. Like, does he really look like an aggressive, horrible dog? And she, like, who gives you the right to kick my dog? He's not done anything wrong. He was just being friendly. 
it was so upsetting i was like and do you know what like as i said i'm not really one to come on and rant but i have had a few times people like be nasty to carter and and say not very nice things and i'm just like don't believe everything you read online like chow chows do get not the best rep on the internet they say that they're aggressive and they're not very nice dogs and they're bad with dogs and children i mean i have a chow chow myself i don't know who who the people are that are writing these things but he would never hurt a fly never mind a dog never mind a child or another human being and for someone to like read something and believe it and kick a dog over that this is not very nice give me a kiss i love you so many other people love you too that lady was nasty but it just made me really upset i was like what a horrible human being like tell tell the dog to go away if you don't like dogs but to kick a dog that is just nasty i really felt like getting my camera out like everyone else does and filming this woman and putting it on social media but i just wanted to be bigger and better than what she is and not and not rise to it but also my phone was was still filming from when we were running around because obviously he ran off and i didn't go back and get my phone until afterwards but it was nasty wasn't it kiss I love you. Give me a good I love you. But anyway, guys, if you are someone that reads about dogs online, don't always believe what you read because he is the nicest dog ever with the nicest nature. I mean, anyone he goes and stays with, anyone he ever sees, he's just such a friendly dog. And I mean, you should never kick a dog anyway, but to just be nasty to a dog. I mean, it's like, just because a child may look different, do you, be, do you bully them at school? No, of course you don't. Like, every, I don't know, I'm just gobsmacked by the situation that's just happened. But anyway, you're okay, aren't you? We still had a nice walk, didn't we? Yeah? Anyway, guys, I'm going to go and get ready to head out to my event tonight. I'm going to give you lots of loving, yeah? Not nice. Um, and the event tonight, I'm not really sure how much of it I can film because I don't know if it's like a private viewing thing. So I try and capture a bit of footage, but if not, I will jump back on tomorrow. We're not going to go on the same walk, are we? Because that lady was nasty. We don't want to see her again, do we? No. I love you. walk the suitcase with my coffee Ooh. good morning guys good morning. welcome to wednesday i didn't vlog yesterday because basically i wanted to fast forward through the day it was one of those days where i was just sitting at the computer doing pre-planning for today and it's boring to watch but today i'm with, with my bestie <laughs> we've said to ourselves that we just want to why is that focus down there focus on my face there we go i'm focusing um, on your chest chest <laughs> my black granddad jumper today yeah we've said that we just want to come into london more and do more together in like just vlogging hang out hang out being freelance can be boring well sitting at my kitchen table i mean it's boring for you guys to watch but we're gonna go for a little walk do some pictures we've started with the coffee which always has to happen we was meant to start at like 10 and we i know sat, <laughs> literally we got into town at 10 and then we've just chatted and we're like should we go for a coffee first to catch up and now we've sat for an hour and a half well no first of all we started just stood and then we were yeah we did and then we're like let's sit down at least for a coffee <laughs> but we're gonna go and do some pictures then we might actually go to a museum to get something like cool have and you actually been to a museum no actually i have in paris but not here but not very <laughs> educated but let's Crack on with a fun-filled day. Bye for now. <laughs> Saw you walking and talking with another guy. And I wish you happy dear. But sometimes I wonder why. Why after all this time? You done? We've just been out for a walk and clearly someone quenched their thirst. You done? 
Um, guys, I apologise. Today, it wasn't a wasted day, it was productive. I mean, majority of it was spent, me and Ellis, sitting, talking and planning about what we want to do on these days that we spend together in London. But my intentions were to go to a museum and to do all these fun things to capture it on camera. But we actually didn't get into the museum because we had um, suitcases. So that was a flop. And then we thought we better eat pre our Barry's boot camp class like early enough or else we're going to get stitched when we're running. And if you've never done a Barry's boot camp before, they are intense. So having food and trying to do them, no go. So then we went and got some food and then we were like, okay, now we've got Barry's in like 35 minutes. So like an hour. So the day just kind of passed us by, but it was actually a really fun day and nice to see Alice and just catch up. And we planned kind of our next things that we're gonna do on our next shoot. Do you know, like trial and error, you've got to learn from your mistakes and then you learn for next time. But we got a few pictures, had a good chat, successful day, but I just didn't really pick the camera up that much. So such is life. But I just got back, took Carter out, as you could tell from his thirsty, licking, loud noise. Um, and I'm just gonna chill out for tonight now. I've let you in the front and now you're getting your wee everywhere from your little willy. And you just, look at him guys. I normally don't let him in the front. I normally put him in the boot, but he's well and truly got himself comfortable. Don't get your dirty paws everywhere though, please, because it was probably a wrong choice for me getting white seats for this car. Good morning, guys. Happy Friday. First of all, I'm just going to apologise because I don't really know what I've actually filmed this week. I feel like it's all mismatched footage. And I feel like I wasn't going to put this vlog out because I was thinking, oh, I didn't film on that day and I didn't film on that day. Is it worth me doing, like, spend a week with this? But then I thought, you know what? Nothing in life is perfect. This vlog is certainly not perfect. But there's still some bits in there that I feel like I want you guys to see and want you to be a part of. So I'm still going to put it out. Like yesterday. Do you want to come up and say hi? Sit up then. Stop being lazy. Sit up. Come up here. There we go. They want to see you. They want to see you. With your smelly bad breath. You need to clean your teeth later. Yesterday I had a shoe and I just feel like we're just... Hey, be quiet. I feel like with shoots, the problem is I'm so caught up in the moment of like creating the idea, changing outfits, dealing with a dog because there was a really funny video that we created for Instagram yesterday with the dog. Let's just say the dog changes my delivery order and I get a massive package of what I didn't think I ordered. If you want to go and watch any of like those content that I create, by the way, I'll pop my Instagram down below just so you can go. All right, you go back over there because you're getting hair everywhere. But I'm so caught up in the moment that I just forget to pick up my vlogging camera. So I do apologise for yesterday because I don't think I picked the camera up once. But I am going to close this vlog off here because we're currently off to get Carter something super, super exciting. But I want to save this for next week's vlog because I don't want it right at the end of this one. All I'll say is, Carter is going to be getting his own car. That's all I'm saying. If you want to find out what that is all about, this will be on next week's vlog at the start. So, yes, thank you all for watching and staying with me through a dog panting. If you did stay all the way until the end, please do give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. And we, come and say bye now. We will see you next week on a very exciting vlog, won't we? Yes, say goodbye. Take care, guys. Right, should we go and get your special surprise now?